Okay guys, we have a shipment from Japan and uh, I'm excited to open this. It's been about three days from Japan, shipment wise. So let's open it up with my girls. So uh, they're excited and we're excited. And let's see what's, uh, what's in the box. Daddy open. <gasps> what is this? Okay, fishy. Fishy? See, girls always know. They know what's in the heart. Fishy opens. Fishy opens. Fishy in here. Woo! We're getting it open. Uh, you gotta okay. find out. What did I buy from Japan? What's in here? Uh oh, oh. What is this? Look, baby. Wow. Wow. What is this? What is this? Plastic bags? Woo! Bought some plastics. Cover craw. Jackal. Four and a half inch. This is a super cool bait that I got before. And uh, I bought this from a Japan lure shop. Whenever you buy stuff from their site, the folks from their company like to give you guys free baits. So I bought some of these. This is not what I got for free, but let me show you guys. Super to use this. Super excited to use this though. This is a type of bait where you could hook it like from the front end, and when you skip this under a cover or under a dock, it glides in. Wow. That way, so. Fishy, fishy. Fishy, fishy. Super cool though. Mama. This thing is gonna be a killer for sure for docks and cover. Hey, Daddy, put away. Now, so what? These things are huge. I wanted to try out these guys, guys. Depths bowl flat, and uh, I think this comes in a pack of. I think what well, it looks like four, and this is the 4.8 inch version. Again, uh, this is kind of like a uh, super JDM bait where. Okay. Um, mm, it's okay. What makes it special? is that when it falls down with the weight, it spirals down. And I've been seeing a lot of good reviews and good reports on this bait. So wow. we're gonna try it out this wow. year. Wow! Wow! Oh, look. Look at baby. Look at, hi. Look here. Hi, wow. Fishy. Wow. Ooh, it smell funny. Smell it. Look at that. So basically, this little fin here swims it around like so. Put the hook in here. Comes out either way you want to use it. And I think when it falls down, it just flaws and circles and spirals down. Kind of like a ghillie, I could say. I don't know. But excited to use it though. This green pumpkin color, super natural. And also have uh, this guy. Holy smokes! I forgot I bought this too. Bull flat. 5.8 inch. This is gonna require like a seven odd hook. This thing is massive. Look at that, guys. What? <laughs> hey, baby, you have Hey. Look at that. What? Look at the size of this thing, dudes. Look at that. This thing is giant, enormous. I really like the color though. Uh, fishy. Fishy, yeah. Yucky. Yucky. But it looks like this is meant for like a seven knot or something. Really big. Smell it. Ooh, yummy. Smell it. Yummy. Yummy, yeah. We'll be excited to try out these babies here though. 5.8 and uh, 4.8 version. Oh, oh look what's in there. Yo! This is what they sent us from Japan Lure Shop, guys. Y'all see that? Re-range, Jackal Re-range. And he says right here too, gift. Hopefully it's been... They gave that for free? Yep. Yeah, see you guys? Wow! Nice color. Order from our Japan Lure Shop, folks. Always give free baits. Look at this. This is a nice middle color too. See that? Oh, Y'all can see that okay there. Look at that. 
freaking nice. Really nice, just natural color. Probably good for uh, clear lakes, stuff like that. And I love the action of the re-range. So glad I got this, that's so cool. It's like a freaking present, guys. Okay, now let's go ahead and open up the main attraction. Okay, guys. Open the main attraction. Okay. <gasps> Why are you so big? Yep. What are you gonna catch with these? Bass. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Right here. <laughs> JDM, homies. You know what I'm saying? From Japan. Oh. The manufacturer of all the goodies. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Y'all see that? Shimano XNs DC. Oh yeah. Wow. This reel is a saltwater reel, but then it is built for heavy duty. That's why I bought it. I wanted it for like a uh, frogging, punching swim bait reel. Seven speed, a little fast for swim baits and stuff. Yes, I know, but I barely throw swim baits. But this is mainly more for my. Um, punching and frog and stuff, but here's what comes in the box. The reel, of course, and a uh, typical Shimano gear maintenance stuff like the uh, oil lube and uh, other stuff, but let's take a look at this reel. I've been looking at this reel for some time. This is only like 200 bucks from Japan. What? Ooh. Ooh, guys. I like the way it feels. Super smooth. Look at that. Yeah, fishy. This thing's gonna be sick. It's DC too, so I know it's good. <clears throat> wow. But yeah, probably gonna be throwing some uh, 40 pound power pole braid on here and uh, using an FG knot to leader. So whenever, whenever I wanna throw like a swim bait or something like that, I can toss that on. Or if I wanna throw a frog and stuff like that, I can just simply put that in. But uh, yeah. Excited for the fishing season coming up really close here, guys. Let me just show you guys the up close and personal of this XS DC SS here. I think SS has to do something with like a salt. You can see Everly right there playing with the re range, doing a click clack. But uh, first impressions, guys, it looks, it has the exact frame, exact frame as the uh, Corrado DC, or it's either the Corrado DC has the exact frame as the Shimano XS because this is one of the uh, flagship reels for uh, Shimano, but for salt water. This is the older version. The new version right now costs like 600 bucks. And so uh, this one's still flagship for its time. And for the price, you can't beat that. $200 reel. I think when this reel was new, I think it was probably like close to 400 or whatever. But because there's, because there's the new model, the price obviously drops and stuff. But I think this is this has the IDC 5 too. Super excited to use this guys, heavy duty. Stuff like that, pop it out. That's the DC unit right there. I love DC though. I've been using DC for a long time, just not religiously as I used to back in 2016 15 before DC was really popular. I had a titanium DC, but overall, this reel is good. Cooking drag, super fat thumb knob. I love that. But this reel is gonna be great for punching, frogging, heavy dooing, heavy dutying. You know what I'm saying? But excited. So right here, we're just currently in the room, chilling. Beautiful Friday. So right here, the x yeah. is gonna go ahead and go on the Tatula Rod 7.4 Heavy, okay? A little short for what I wanted for, but again, guys, I want it for something that I can change for the different applications, such as punching, frogging, and or like light swim baits, okay? Not super heavy and big like my buddy Sam, but just like that small, medium-sized uh, swim baits, you know? But this is, again, a seven speed, a little fast for swim baits again, but I find it myself pretty good with controlling the speed. So uh, I'm gonna get some line on here and good tip for you guys, watch this, okay? And oh yeah, also introducing you guys too as well. Baby, stop touching the back. <laughs> the camera is shaking, man. Okay, right here. X Pride B, baby. This is the Jerkbait King model, okay? What I mean by that is it's the 610 medium action, fast, okay? No, medium power, fast action, okay? Got this rod brand new from my boy, Toulon at Capra, 
sporting goods. Uh, check them guys out. Local in the city is here, but look at that, dude. Sweet setup. Been wanting a dedicated swim uh, jerk bait rod for a while now, so uh, we got it paired up with the Corrado. Yeah, this version just came out last year, but dude, X Pride B. I'm gonna take off this line here. This Corrado was used for like my punching and stuff, so I'm gonna take it off and uh, put it onto the other reel. I'm gonna show you guys how we do that here. Yay. So what I'm gonna do is get the line out of the reel like that, and then you wanna always save your uh, fishing line box like so. You know what I'm saying? Put it on a cordless drill, tape it onto the bad boy, and spin it out. You know, you could reuse your line, especially if you're a conservator like me, or you just don't want to waste line all the time. You don't have to waste nothing. All you gotta do, tape it on here, drill it out. And it'll be done. And once that's done, just thread it back on to your other fishing rod. That's my plan, guys. Ooh, ooh. Put it on here. Open the spool on the fishing reel. And just guide it in. Like so. Oh! Way better. Oh, yeah. That is effective. Yeah. A little messy looking, but it works. That's all that matters, as long as it works. Braid is getting on there. Way better. Woo! Figured it out. End up using Everly's little sock. Shoot. You use her socks? No, it's just used to use as a spacer. What are you doing? Toe. Toe? Are we? But yeah, not too exactly sure yet, but pretty sure on this Corrado X Pride Jerkbait special setup, we're gonna be putting 12 pounds on here, so uh, should be good. Pretty excited to use this around pre-spawn, springtime spawn zone. I just put my line to the bait caster, and uh, in the um, X Sense, there wasn't like a hole for you to like thread the uh, braid through to like knot it to the um, spool. But uh, what I did is just use some duct tape so it prevents the uh, line from slipping, you know? So when you're setting the hook, when you're fighting fish, you don't have to worry about your line slipping. I mean, that's what I do. So uh, now, let's go ahead and reel this bad boy in. Here we go. Tatula with a Xsense. We'll be trying to get a Shimano rod for now, for in the future, but for now this is gonna be just fine as this rod caught me plenty of fish and I have a lot of trust in the power of this setup. Reel it in, reel it in. 